Hey everybody, my name is Neha Rajesh Nambiar and welcome to my channel. All my posts before were based on dance, art, music, painting. So I decided why not do something a little bit different. Coming from a family filled with art, culture and tradition, I always have an eye for being creative. During one of my family talks, I overheard my mother and she mentioned something about helping out needful artists in India. I didn't give much of a thought at first, but when the whole world was prison into their houses due to COVID-19, I started to notice that so many artists, and I'm not just talking about dancers, musicians and painters, but also sculptors, weavers, theatre artists, drama artists, etc. All of them did not have the facility or the financial support to survive during such hard times. So I decided, what if I created a space? A particular area for these artists to recite, to sell, to showcase, to perform their works in public. Their very own personal art village. I called it the Smart Village. Welcome to Smart Village, a self-sustained, dedicated hub located in towns, villages or cities which is built for the welfare of art and artists. During this pandemic, artists across the globe were severely traumatized and tarnished with no opportunities or funds in hand to barely survive. As an inspiring fellow artist, I wanted to create a platform for these underprivileged artists to revive themselves and the art, to learn a new skill, to teach and share boundless knowledge, as well as to perform and successfully achieve their hopes and aspirations. As you can see, this is a very basic understanding and design of how I believe the smart village should look like. As you drive to this road, surrounded by beautiful trees and flowers, you will see this magnificent futuristic building in the front. The building acts as the main office of this entire village slash city. The building would consist of three or more floors in total. The ground floor with the reception and a lobby. This floor would consist of banks, ATMs, as well as a small cafeteria for the visitors, artisans and staffs. The first floor would have an exhibition hall specifically for the artists to showcase their works to the public. Along with the hall, there will be a small library, a mini theater, as well as a recording studio. The next floor would be dedicated for education of art. This means art courses for students, e-learning centers, art studios, and many more. To bring the more fun and adventurous part of a student's life, I have incorporated a mini squash court as well as a pool table. Behind this building, my plan was to build an amphitheater for artists, mainly dancers, musicians, and theater artists to showcase their performances publicly. At the top of this building, I have created a mini solar panel which supplies electricity sufficient enough for this entire building. Next, I would like to take you all down to the main streets of this art village. As you can see, this is a residential and commercial complex for the artists to recite and market their forte. Here are some designs of the art houses the artists would be living in. I would also like to cooperate solar panels for each house as it is the most effective way to produce energy. Each street would be dedicated to a specific type of art form. For example, this street is dedicated for music. Artists would take music lessons, sell instruments, record albums, and career development. I've listed only a few examples like dance, pottery, fine arts, folklore, handicraft, and many more. This is obviously not going to be limited as there are many known and unknown art forms out there in the world. To ensure these artisans are healthy and fit, I've designed a medical center that is divided into two sections. This part would focus more on ophthalmology, dentistry, and general medicine. This obviously can be more specialized when it becomes stable. The second part focuses on the natural ways of healing. Here I've chosen naturopathy and Ayurveda. Beside the medical center, you can see specific areas to grow varieties of fruits and vegetables. Here I've chosen mangoes and coconuts. The basic idea is to live sufficiently using smart village grown products. Going past this greenery, you can see a cattle farm which will be surrounded by water bodies to produce water for this village slash city. This cattle farm is very useful as it will provide dairy products for the residents. 
Behind the scale farm, you can see a windmill, which indicates that this city does not only work on solar panel, but also windmill to generate electricity. This electricity generated does not only have to work in this city, but it can also work in neighboring cities. Opposite to the cattle farm, I've decided to grow a paddy field, which is going to be useful when you're trying to grow rice grown products. It is also very beautiful when looking from outside this building. You can also see that right next to the paddy field is an outdoor swimming pool, which is used by residents living in the city. Like I mentioned before, this is just a basic understanding of how I see the smart village with very limited knowledge and exposure at this age. I am looking forward to a formal curriculum which will expand my horizon to implement these practical futuristic ideas. I strongly believe that this concept will benefit the larger audience without geographical limitations. I am Neha Rajesh Nambiar and thank you for watching and understanding this concept. For a simple thought I had, I received a motivating letter from Dr. C. V. Anandabos IAS. I would like to specially thank him for encouraging and motivating me. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all like and subscribe to my channel.